Now I'm going to take influences from William and Saul's recipe and I'm going to combine the banana and the coffee flavour together because I think the two really work well together and I'm going to serve that with a hot chocolate sauce. First thing to incorporate the bananas into this recipe. And I'm going to serve the bananas in the ice cream part. So we need to peel about four bananas. Now you can do this with strawberries or bananas. It works the same. And cut into about inch sized pieces. Place the bananas into a bag and freeze them. And then start your meringue topping. Heat some sugar and water into a pan to make a sugar syrup. So I'm going to make an Italian meringue, which is using boiled sugar. Separate your eggs into a mixing bowl. Now, whichever meringue recipe you choose to use, it's the quantity of sugar to egg whites that remains the same. It's adding to the egg whites that makes it different in terms of the texture. Now, while I'm waiting for the sugar to boil, we can simply make a chocolate sauce. Now, if you want a really shiny texture to a chocolate sauce, it's best to use just stock syrup, which is just the sugar and water in there, and I've got some really good quality dark chocolate. Once it's boiling, pour the syrup over the 70% dark chocolate. Now, just the heat from the stock syrup will create this lovely, shiny chocolate sauce. And you can leave that to one side while I make meringue. When your first pan of sugar syrup has reached 120 degrees centigrade and your egg whites are fully whisked, you need to pour the mixture onto the whites carefully but quickly. This will cook them, which is perfect for baked Alaska. Add a little drop of coffee essence just before finishing the mixing. So the meringue's ready. It's nice and firm, you can see that. That's what you get with by doing Italian meringue. It's very different to conventional meringue. You wouldn't really use this for pavlovas and things like that. And now I'm gonna make the ice cream. We've got the frozen bananas here. Incorporate that with another thing the Americans love, as well as ice cream, buttermilk. Touch of vanilla and blend this for about 20 seconds. Now what's happening is as the bananas start to defrost, they actually freeze the buttermilk and make the ice cream. The downside of this, however, is that you can't refreeze this. Once you've made it, you've got to eat it. It goes quite grainy in texture. And there we have it, the instant banana ice cream. And now you need to work quickly. Spray a ring mold with some oil. Put a slice of sponge cake into the bottom. You can use ready-made sponge or bake your own. Place a scoop of instant ice cream on top, then cover it over with a cooked, cooled Italian meringue. You can also pipe some decoration around the bottom. And instead of putting it in the oven, we can do it with a blowtorch. And then finally, just take some of your hot chocolate sauce. On the side. And there we have it, a quick version a classic baked Alaska. What I loved about this dish in America was the different flavor combinations the two chefs came up with. One very modern and one traditional. But if you mix the two together, you end up with this. <laughs>